Okay, guys, Franchise Frenzy is brought to you by The Horror Man and Horrific Nightmares Jam. Be sure to check out everybody's videos. Let's get into it. What's up, guys? Mr. Dan here back again. This is my first installment of the Franchise Frenzy series where I compare and rank volume ones in franchises. I've got a stack here. I reached out to Joe, the horror man, and said, what, what do you think the minimum number is? And he said 10 would be good. Ideally, you want to pick movies that have a decent number of sequels so you can continue. So I've done that with mixed success. Okay, I was actually going to... I just rewatched the Amityville Horror, the original one. I just don't know if I'll be able to continue with that series. So I did not include that one. I had to make some, some choices here. Anyway, enough of me blabbing. Here we go. Number 10. Okay. Subspecies. This is one I bought for this video, for this challenge. Something I've mentioned to, to both uh, Jason, Horrific Nightmares, JM, and Joe before that I really wanted to get into this. As you can see, I've got number two. I'm going to try to get all of them. Uh, this is number 10. That does not mean it sucked. I did enjoy it. It was very good. Very much a full moon feature, mixed bag of special effects. The, the creatures, these little creatures here, you know, they're, they're pretty dated. Uh, set in Romania shortly after Romania stopped becoming, st uh, ceased to exist as a communist country. Very much an Eastern European feel. They even have a Trabant, which is a, a car they made in the Eastern Bloc, which somewhere in this office I have a diecast version of. I have to get that out and find it. But I thought that was cool. There's a brief appearance by uh, Angus Scrim as the king. And basically it's a story of a vampire sort of coming back and taking revenge. And he is uh, distinguished by his giant fingers. The only thing I remember about this is flipping dials in college and seeing the guy with the, the giant fingers. <laughs> I don't remember if we continued watching or not. But his name was Radu. Okay? Pretty good. You know, good cast, uh, very good atmosphere. The castles, very authentic. I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, the clothes a lot of the people in the background are wearing, that they, that's what they were wearing. Uh, very, just, you know, good atmosphere. I did enjoy it, okay? Next, another full moon. Saw this a while ago. I was going to zip through the series, to be honest. I got to be honest with you. I watched it, and I was like, ah, yeah. I remember that. That was pretty good. Puppet Master. But now I have reason to continue, at least by next month, to continue with the series and watch Puppet Master 2. So yeah, I enjoyed it. Again, very much full moon feature. Uh, Paul Lamatt, I think William Hickey, right? Yeah. Good cast. It was fun. You know, I hadn't seen it in a long time. Kind of got them mixed up. Uh, it was fun. I don't have much more to say about it. But <laughs> did enjoy it. Next, this was, might be lower than some people think. I gotta be honest with you, I've uh, been watching a lot of kung fu movies lately, and that's just been what I've been into. So I was gonna rewatch this. Who knows? Maybe if I rewatched it, it would be higher. But I have the rest of these, or at least several of them, maybe up to five. I don't, I don't really know. Uh, Saw. Yeah, I really liked it. I liked it when it came out. I still like it. Um, it just had to go somewhere. There's a lot of nostalgia in here, and that's why this one is next. Pumpkinhead. Collector's Editions. I have not seen any of the sequels, okay? And I think there's only four of them, so I know that's not the most in the world, but I really want to see the rest of them. Been meaning to, so now's my motivation. Collector's Edition with the worst, flimsiest case ever. Lance Henriksen. Great special effects. Stan Winston, I think. Uh, if I can only... I guess I'm going to have to buy part two. It doesn't seem to be streaming anywhere. Yeah, for this... All of these I own physical copies of. That was just the easiest way to go. Next. Uh, Conjuring. Okay. Um, you know, I really like this movie. and My dad actually really was a fan of this movie. And he was not into horror movies. There's just something about it. I don't know. It follows a formula, but it just does it so well. Great sympathetic characters. Um, just solid all around. I like The Conjuring. It's still my favorite. I haven't seen the third one yet, to be quite honest. I've seen some of the other series. Not all of them. Um, I guess Conjuring 2 would be next, but if I have any questions, I'll, I will seek clarification. 
But yeah, that was the fifth one. Next, the original. Uh, a lot of nostalgia for this. It'll be interesting to see where two ranks, because I actually have probably more nostalgia for two since I saw it in the theater. I've always been a fan of two, but what can you say? The original, John Saxon. Gotta love it. I mean, it's just the original nightmare. Next, there's one. <clears throat> you know me, I love my hammer. I was thinking about Frankenstein or Dracula. I'm going with Frankenstein. After this, I just watched this one with my son. I will rewatch the rest of them. And uh, I'm just curious to see how I rank them in the series. But in this part one installments, The Curse of Frankenstein with Peter Cushing, directed by Terrence Fisher, uh, is next. So I guess that would be my fourth favorite of number ones that I've chosen. Next, I don't think they made a video for this. Um, but I believe there's five altogether. So, and I have that box set that everybody else has. The Fly just saw this in the theater a while ago and got to uh, attend a Q&A with Victoria Price, Vincent Price's daughter. Really interesting. Just, you know, so much nostalgia for this. Love The Fly from back in the day. That's the third. Now the second. Ba-boom. You know it. Phantasm. Love it. I've seen them all except Ravager. So eventually I'll be watching Ravager. <laughs> um, yeah, Phantasm. Crazy, batshit crazy, creepy, original, hallucinogenic, great Angus Grimm performance. Love everybody in it. Uh, that's my second one. My first favorite part one. First favorite part one. My favorite part one of this collection that I'm showing. And I gotta be honest with you, uh, I might do three of these. I don't think I'm gonna go beyond that. I don't know where the remakes fit in. Cross that bridge when we come to it. Boom, now you're going, what the heck is this? <laughs> you know a film was in the public domain when it's the bonus feature in a collection of <laughs> Halloween songs. <laughs> okay. Uh, includes music from scary movies and the Night of the Living Dead feature film. Night of the Living Dead is number one of these films that I showed. Okay, I think I have another copy somewhere. Anyway, that is, they're the films in mostly upside down descending order. What do you guys think? I know some of them, some of the, uh, the more recent films like The Saw and The Conjuring may be a little low for some people, but you know, I'm as old as I am, and I have an affinity for a lot of these older films. Uh, and that's just all there is to it. Uh, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next month for Franchise Frenzy Part 2. Later. <laughs> <laughs>